today being Friday, it's time to do a vlog, and so I decided, um, how about talking about finding the story in a commercial project? And what I mean by that is like, so you're a freelancer, you're in video production, and you're working for a small business or a nonprofit and, or a brand, and you're trying to make them a compelling promotional video for their website or for whatever they want to use it for. Well, how do you find the story in that? You sit down and you, you conduct your interviews with you know the people that work there or the person who started the company or somebody like that and you develop questions beforehand, yeah, and that's all based on good homework and trying to get to uh, the message you want to convey that they want to convey through the video. But you get back home and you get into your editing suite and you open all that footage up and you gotta go through those interviews and sequence together some sort of a compelling video project. I'd say the biggest problem with commercial video production and what's out there even right now is there isn't good stories. It's just telling you what you need to know about the company and smiling faces and talking heads and boring stock music and all that stuff. So here's what I've really learned that has been tremendously helpful for me and I just want to share this little tip. It's from Donald Miller and he is uh, he has a company called StoryBrand and they help businesses with their marketing by telling stories through their marketing because humans are compelled by stories. We absolutely love stories. <clears throat> Sorry for all the wind. It's just too beautiful to not have my windows down, so you gonna, you're gonna have to deal with it. Just like this five-step sequence of walking someone through a story, and you need to define each box in that sequence. The first box is your character or your hero. You know, who is the hero of your story? Uh, and once you define the hero, you need to move down to their problem. Every hero in a good story has a real felt problem, like something that they can't solve on their own. So once you have your, your hero and your, and your problem defined, you have a guide that you introduce into any great story. So then the guide has a plan, and that's the next step, is that guide needs to introduce a plan to help that hero overcome their problem. And then the final box is just either, if you're a business, it's a call to action, or it's the success or failure of the story, what needs to happen next. So let me give you an example from my own work. Last year I worked with a nonprofit called Lead to Read KC. They exist to uh, help teach underprivileged kids to read, because not being able to read is the biggest indicator of, of dropping out of school and not being successful. So Lead to Read gathers volunteers together from the city and sends them out into elementary schools and they have reading buddies and you stay with the same kid week after week. Wonderful program uh, and it's doing wonderful things for our city. And how I defined their project based on this, this story brand model was the hero in this story are these kids. You know, they're the character in the story that's, that's the main focus. And their big problem is they don't have access to good education. They don't uh, many of these kids don't know how to read by third, fourth, fifth grade, and that just sets them behind. So then the guide in the story is Lead to Read, the organization. And their plan is to send volunteers from the metro who do know how to read into these schools and start meeting with these kids one-on-one, -on -one, being with the same child week after week, developing a relationship and reading to them and with them. It uh, builds trust with these kids and it teaches them how to read. And the, and the end game with that story is that the more kids that can read, the more our city flourishes and the more we can benefit from uh, having educated people in our city. So that's kind of the way I look at it. And it does get hard if you work for a more dry, uh, say like a corporate video, like you're working for a bank or a realtor or a dental office, you know, these things that on the surface, they look a little more dry. They, it doesn't seem like they fit those needs. But if you look under the surface, I guarantee you, you will find passion in the individuals that you're working for, for what they do. And that passion, there's a story there. There are heroes of their story. You know, there are people that need dentistry and the, the dentist serves that need. And his work, if he does it well, creates good for the people that need it. And so all you have to do is just kind of look at the subtext of what you're you're dealing with. And uh, I'd love to follow that plan. You can kind of develop your own based on that, thanks to Donald Miller. He in no way, shape, or form sponsored this little vlog. I'm just really benefiting in a great way from his work. Find the story, find the characters, define them really meticulously, and then extract it from your interviews. If you focus on that, and then add in good cinematography, really good sound design, and license really good music, probably from Marmoset, because that's where the best music is, it will make your production um, leaps and bounds better. You want a little behind the scenes on what's going on in this little vlog. Well, you're the hero in this story. 
and your problem is your corporate video production is not that exciting or compelling. I'm your guide, and my plan is to tell you to use Donald Miller's storyline framework to make better stories. See what I did there? You haven't clicked away yet. You're still watching. You must be compelled by something. <laughs> Am I right? So that's all for this vlog. It's pretty quick. Um, I will link the lead to read video if you want to watch it in the description below. Um, leave a comment and tell me how you set up story for your projects if you're in the video production world. If you like this content at all, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Every Friday I'm gonna upload a new vlog situation that's gonna deal with something in the video and music production world, at least the way I see it. Otherwise, I will see you next week.